all right, yes, I know people are sick of me talking about this movie, but A, I like this movie, B, this is my page, and C, The Lion King 1994 is still my favorite animated movie. Wish is just one of them. I will say, is this movie perfect? No, 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 it isn't. But it's not as bad as people in the internet are making it out to be because, you know, they're boring. What can I say? And also, I kept this out for months because I just got sick and tired of the overall discourse that this movie got almost in like almost a year. And I think it's just the audience just playing the victim like I always say. And there's this one YouTuber who I used to follow, but then I don't anymore, complaining about the animation style. Saying that the CG characters do not match the 2D backgrounds, which is a total lie, and I think that person needs new glasses. And it's not just him, it's like other people saying this, and it just comes in a place of disrespect and ignorance. Because, like, say what you want about Disney and the corporation, but animators have worked hard to make this movie happen. They spent hours, days, weeks, years to make this movie happen. And yes, it's not perfect, but it's still amazing. And I'm not sure if many people remember the short Paper Man, which came out in 2012, but it kind of did the exact same style. So I'm not sure why people were complaining when Wish came out. But, but again, and there's nothing I can do about the complaining. And yes, I know before you tell me everyone has opinions. Some are toxic, some are not. But the animators for this movie have done a great job. And they should be respected for that. I think people just complain because it's Disney. So that's all I'm going to say. And speaking of flaws, there are, there are some flaws to this movie, but I still like it. You can like a movie even with its flaws. And that flaw in this movie is King Magnifico himself. So obviously in the movie, King Magnifico is a narcissist in, in the sense of the word. And obviously, like, his backstory, like, it gets put in the back burner as the movie goes on. And obviously he does get more evil as it goes on. I just wish that we had more scenes where he's more evil. And I'll say this again. There are movies that have flaws, and you can still like them. I think the people who hate it on this movie are film bros, film Karens, and people who are not just happy with their lives and use movies as an escapism, which is not a bad thing, but it can get toxic if not checked correctly. And yes, I've heard about Starboy, which is a very cool thing, but the visceral that these film Karens gave it kind of ruined it for me, almost, because, you know, they're not happy with their lives. And I like Star as Star is within the movie, a ball of positive energy, and if Asha and Starboy would have been a romantic relationship, it would not work. I'm sorry, but it would not work. 